Patrick McKenney joins us right now. Sir, very good to have you. Thanks, Neil. Um, the early differences are that the Senate wants to sort of stagger or delay the corporate tax cut. Is that a non-starter to you? Uh, I, that's not where we are in the House, uh, and that's not where the president is. Uh, so this is a negotiation not just between the House and the, and the Senate, but also with the White House, and the president has a really important voice in this, obviously, because we wouldn't be in the game for tax reform if uh, he did not win that election a year ago. So um, everything's in play at this point, obviously, but uh, we want immediate rate reduction and we want permanence. Now, um, they are also trying to deal with some provisos in your measure and the House measure that have proven very unpopular, the inability to write off medical expenses and all of that. Are you open to any of this stuff as well? Look, I, look. Uh, everything that we do, every decision we make, actually impacts our ability to have broad rate reduction. So we've made the tough choices in the House to dramatically simplify the, the individual code the corporate code and the individual pass through small business code. Um, and so I think we've made the right choices in the House. Not perfect, obviously. A lot of give and take to conform with Senate rules. Um, and so we're cramming as much tax relief as we can to middle class families and to businesses as, as possible and still conform with the Senate rules. When you talk about the medical expense question, it's utilized by a very small percentage of largely wealthy people. It does not have that broad-based impact on families uh, that we think is necessary for it to meet uh, the desired consequences. So what is your sense of the timetable here? Maybe these, to your points, yeah. or these uh, differences are ironed out. Um, but I believe the, the goal was to get this done in the House by Thanksgiving, to get it done in the Senate, wrapped up and signed by the President by Christmas. Doable? Yes. It has to be doable because we want to have immediate uh, tax relief for middle class families. Uh, the complaint I hear loudly uh, from my constituents at home and what we saw in elections in Virginia yesterday is uh, Republicans want results um, and they demand outcomes. And so if we get outcomes, if we actually pass tax reform and get uh, the first steps of health care reform done, the first uh, fulfillment of the president's pledges when it comes to immigration, and uh, border security, uh, look, we're going to be in fine shape a year from now. And if we don't get anything done, then people are going to say, what, what use are you? Uh, so we know the consequences of failure are very real, um, and that motivates us to get this thing done in a timely fashion. You know, uh, since a lot of people have criticized the plan, maybe given the limitations and the budgetary requirements in order to get this through reconciliation and the simple mm -hmm. majority of votes, the Senate, that you, it's already watered down, and uh, now the Senate could water it down some more. Are you Disappointed in the Senate? Um, in well, either that, that this is not what it was originally billed to be, that a lot of people are just disappointed that the tax cut isn't that big. Well, originally it was supposed to be revenue neutral, and the Senate was able to come up with a compromise to have a trillion and a half dollars of tax relief. Right. Uh, we want to go further in the House, obviously. We don't have to conform with the Senate rules to do what we want to do in the House. Uh, but if we want to get a bill through the Senate with 51 votes, we have to conform with their rules. Am I disappointed in the Senate? Look, I'm a member of the House. We wake up every day disappointed with the Senate. It's what we do. It's not a partisan <laughs> is issue. It's just the nature of a, a bicameral legislature. Um, but I, right. I, I think even still, uh, my Senate colleagues, my Senate friends know the consequences of failure. Um, and they will see it uh, next November or, and we'll see it next November in the House. If we don't right. get things done, we're going to get things done. You should hear what they say about you. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Thank you, Congressman, very, very much. Thanks, Neil. All right. Well, probably the